Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite reverse Benjamin Button, Gardner, the Linux gamer. So today I wanted to do a Q&A video because I get asked a lot of Qs and I don't feel like I give enough A's. So I asked for questions on Twitter and on Patreon and uh, you guys kind of delivered. So uh, let's start with uh, some Patreon questions because I got a couple here. Uh, most of them happen to be from Brian Lunduke. I'm just going to answer these real fast from Brian. Short Circuit or Wally? Wally, obviously. Um, Short Circuit probably was before my time. <laughs> uh, War Games or Lady Hawk? I don't know what that is. Uh, tastes great or less filling? Um, tastes great. Or less filling. Uh, that's a toss up. Masters of Orion 2 or Star Control 2? <sighs> probably Star Control 2. I, I think that's the only one I've played. We also have a question from Tuxed Koo on Patreon, and Tuxed Koo asks, how's it going? Pretty decent. <laughs> I'm having a good time already. This is fun. I just got back from bowling uh, with my friends. We, we did some bowling. Um, it was pretty good. We had, we had a blast. Uh, questions from, uh, from Twitter. At cyberpunk underscore comp asks, how can Libra software compete with proprietary software when the revenue generated is limited to paid support and donations? That's a good question. Um, uh, I think that, uh, I think that we're doing pretty good. Honestly, uh, a lot of Libra software is done by, uh, like volunteer work, um, which isn't to say that it should be. I think that open source projects like, uh, elementary are kind of, pioneering in the way they're trying to monetize in an ethical way. Um, similarly, uh, Purism is doing uh, great stuff. They're offering hardware support as well as the contributing back upstream. There are a lot of projects that actually do that where they, they create a, hard, like a piece of hardware and then through developing the software for that hardware, they contribute back to the open source world. In fact, most of the people who work for the Linux kernel are doing so um, as part of their, you know, full-time day job. Um, so I wouldn't say that, I wouldn't say that uh, most of the Libra software is limited by paid support uh, or donations. So, and there are some that, that really only rely on donations and the kindness of others. And I'd like to find a way to help them in, 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 in some more um, reliable means, you know? That's an interesting question. Thanks for the question, uh, Cyberpunk. At Free Tech Project on Twitter asks, what are your top three favorite distros? That's a great question. Uh, top three favorites as it stands right now. Uh, Manjaro is probably in the top. Uh, I really like Ubuntu for servers. Not a big fan of the desktop anymore. Uh, and... Pure OS, because why not? <laughs> I'm going to be doing DistroQuest pretty soon here. Uh, I already re recorded some footage of, of DistroQuest, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, thank you for the question at Free Tech Project. Uh, Alex Sibes, or Siebes on, on Twitter asks, Thoughts on Manjaro in early 2019? Thoughts on Anti-X or FreeBSD as well? Will you give a full review of the Purism Librem 5 when it launches? I'm thinking of getting that at a Librem 11 when it is launched as well. Uh, so in reverse order, absolutely you can expect a full hardware review of the Librem 5 phone. In fact, uh, that's, yeah, I'm super duper excited about that, obviously, because, because I, there's nothing in this world that gets me more excited than the idea of the Librem 5 phone. Nothing in this world gets me more excited. The fact that I can toss this piece of piece of junk in the trash, uh, I'll probably give it to somebody. But anyway, I'm I don't I don't like having a, a Google phone, Google software in my pocket. So I'm really excited about the Libra Five. Uh, thoughts on Anti X or Free FreeBSD? Never tried them. Thoughts on Manjaro in early 2019. Uh, honestly, uh, I'm going to revisit it, Manjaro installation on my desktop pretty soon uh, because uh, because it, it didn't work before um, when I upgraded to a Vega card. We'll see what happens. Uh, thank you for the question, Alex. Uh, Mateo 
at Portal of Freedom asks, do you know how have you ever tried to share the Steam game library across multiple users on the same PC so that the same game is not downloaded four times on the disc? No, I have not tried to do that. Um, I would imagine it involves uh, a, 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 a Steam folder. A folder. <laughs> I would imagine it involves setting up a folder that has uh, access to by everyone who you want to share it with uh and then changing the steam download directory i've never tried it that might be a video idea thank you for the question at towers gray on twitter asks one of these days i'll need some advice on picking a distro best advice that i have is find one that you're comfortable uh with especially with the package manager because um Really, the biggest difference between distros that I've found uh, recently is that the package managers are different. Uh, but for the most part, most distros that I've tried are actually pretty much the same, except for, you know, the desktop environment and the the package manager. Thank you for the question. At Pixeltrick07 asks, what made you stick with Linux that long? For me, it's the control over my PC. You can't get that on Windows or Mac OS. So I was homeschooled. Uh, and the reason that I uh, was able to get into Linux was the fact that it was part of my curriculum. Like I made it part of my curriculum. Um, and, uh, you know, I... I there was definitely like some young teenage angst that wanted to like feel elite. Um, <laughs> and Linux was my way of feeling elite. There was like this, uh, there's like this kind of weird, what would you call it? Uh, presupposition that people have when you talk about Linux where it's like, oh, that's the hacker operating system. And eh, meh, meh, yeah, meh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, I I really thought that it was the hacker operating system. I thought it was cool, and so that's why I got into it. And I stuck with it because, um, well, when I tried going back to Windows, it just was insufferable. I couldn't use it. Like, it, everything was broken after having used Linux and become familiar with how Linux works. Everything on the in the Windows world just seemed broken. And um, so... That's why I, I stuck with it. Thank you for the question. Uh, Grayson Petty, who is a patron, thank you, Grayson, asks, are you a JRPG fan? Do you play Chrono Trigger? Final Fantasy V is playable once you install Microsoft Core Fonts using Wine Tricks. Uh, I'm not a big JRPG fan. Uh, my favorite RPGs are Earthbound and Mother 3. Um, and I feel like I just played one that was pretty good i can't remember the name of it but yeah i i've played chrono trigger it's pretty decent um but really i jrpgs kind of they rub me the wrong way there's something about rpgs that i just can't get behind um and really that my my passion for earthbound is more the story and just the peculiarity of the gameplay that i i find so appealing um have you tried quantum conundrum it's a puzzle game similar to portal 2 but with different mechanics um, I haven't tried that game as well, but I'm going to add that to my list. Thank you, Grayson, for your question. At DB Mitchell asks, who would win in a fight? Brian Lunduke or Matt Hartley? I don't know. Brian Lunduke looks like he fights dirty. I wouldn't want to get in a fight with Brian Lunduke. <laughs> um, yeah, if it was a uh, no holds barred, I feel like Matt could pull it out. I really do. <laughs> Thank you for the question, uh, DB Mitchell. Alex kind of cares uh, on Twitter asks, what's your favorite piece of Linux software? Um, honestly, I think, uh, well, it, does it have to be specifically Linux? That's the question. Um, because really, I really, really like uh, open source software in general. And my favorite pieces of software are the, are the, are the software that, uh, help me do my channel and like communicate with you guys. Uh, OBS is, is amazing. Um, I really love Caden live. I'm trying out olive. I'm, we're going to see how olive works. I might try that when I'm editing this video. Um, you'll get a, you'll get a taste of that 
uh, to come probably. Um, my favorite piece of Linux software? That's a toughie. I don't know. I really like GIMP. GIMP is awesome. GIMP has empowered me to do more um, than I think any other piece of software has. So GIMP might be my answer. Thank you for the question. At Les Atliers, PHV on Twitter asks, which desktop environment would you recommend for gamers? Cinnamon works surprisingly well with my five-year-old gaming rig. I'm on hashtag Linux Mint, but I wonder if I can do better. I, so I've heard secondhand that uh, KDE is the best desktop environment for gaming and, and, and perf, you know, where performance is required. Uh, if you look at like Fox VFX lab where they're producing avatar um, three or whatever the avatar movie is, they're actually using KDE because they get the most performance with the least amount of overhead with KDE. So, you know, if you can tolerate KDE's, um, lack of coherent, um, user interface design then i would say kde and i'm not i'm not taking shots at kde i just i don't like how out of the box kde looks not a big fan um but yeah kde is probably the best for for um doing video games absolutely and the last question that we have on the list today is from at cody dragon rude who asks why have you not created a channel dedicated to skits both past and potentially present. I did create a channel that was all about sketches. Uh, it was called Heavy Element. And uh, we took all the videos down uh, because uh, reasons. Parents. Parents got involved. And it was stupid. So we just took all the videos down because we'd rather not deal with headaches. Um, but we did make a couple really funny videos. And I'm trying to get them to... Uh, to make another channel with me. Maybe we'll go back to Heavy Element someday. I really liked doing that stuff. Also, I was super busy, um, but the more that I'm able to work on the Linux Gamer full-time, uh, or, or dedicate more of my time to Linux Gamer, the more I'm gonna have time to, to do a second channel. And, and that's something that's on my to-do list for sure. I'm really looking forward to the idea of being able to make more content for you guys. And yeah, if you like the sketches that I do, um, let me know because I really like doing the sketches. It's just, it takes a lot of time to do the sketches and uh, I'm flying by the seat of my pants as it is for this, <laughs> for my <laughs> for my videos. So if you have a question you want me to answer, leave a comment down below. Uh, or you can hit me up on Twitter at the Linux Gamer or you can uh, become a patron and ask me there or you can head over to the forums, forum.heavyelement.io and uh, ask your question there. But yeah, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you believe in the work that I do, you can support the show with a monthly contribution over on Patreon. Or you can pick up a t-shirt. There's a link down below. But uh, no matter what you do, whether you hit that like button or share this video with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to see more from me, The Linux Gamer. And as always, thanks for watching.